Hello and welcome back. Last time we grouped our things. Yeah? This time we want to just output something which where the group has special things. Yeah? For instance, class sizes. We have seen that we have two classes with 15, we have one smaller class, and the bigger the classes are, the more groups I need in uh, areas where they where people are trained in small groups, like in the shop, in the workshop. Yeah? There are not 15 people inside one group in the workshop. Yeah? There are less. Yeah? So, let's say I want to see which class has less than 15 people. Yeah? I want to, to get this out. Yeah? I want to see if there is a class which has less than 15 people, because if there are 15 or more, I can divide them into two groups. If there are less than 15 people, I have to use one big group, let's say. Let's have a look. Let's try this. Let's try this. Uh, I use a SELECT statement. SELECT. I want, of course, the class. And I want, of course, I want to also see how many people are there. If there are less than 15, let's see how many people there are. Yeah? So I want to see the class where they are assigned to and how many people there are. Yeah? And from class assignment. Okay? From this table, I want to read it out. Good. What do you want to read out? Where yeah, the count of the student is less than 15. Yeah. And then, of course, I want to group it. Group by assign class. I think this should do it, right? Invalid use of group function. This has not done it. Yeah. Why? Because, of course, I want to know where the count is less than 15 in a group. So, and the group is built here. And I cannot request before. Yeah. Because this is the result. Here it is grouped. And I cannot simply request how much people are inside a group if there's not already grouped. Yeah? So maybe I should just reverse this. Yeah? So I use this select again. Yeah? This time I group it first. Yeah? And now I select the where. Let's see. Ooh, you have an error in your SQL statement. This was getting worse. Yeah? Now I have an even an error in my SQL statement. Why is this? Because this where is not allowed after group. This was also noticed by the SQL makers. Yeah? And they introduced a new word after a while. Yeah? This new word is not where, it is having. Okay. So, I use exactly the same, yeah? select, group, and now instead of where, I'm using having, having, Ta -ta. working, okay. it worked. We are not using where, we are using having. Yeah? Because where is not allowed at this point, but having is allowed. Yeah? Having and where are very, very similar. Yeah? Are they the same? Are they the same? Hmm. Let's make a simple request. Yeah? Let's make this request. Select student forename, student surename from student list where student ID is 1. Yeah? I get 
Heinz Bildeschowski. Now I'm using exactly the statement and replace this where with having. Unknown column, student ID in having clause. So where is working, having is not working. So it cannot be the same, right? But it's it's very similar, I tell you. Yeah? Because I'm using this having now and I'm also selecting student ID. Yeah? Suddenly it's working again. Okay? Suddenly it's again working. Where is this? Because why is this? Because this where is already working if the field is not inside the result. Yeah. It's in the database, yeah. but it's not inside the result where it's working. If having is not finding this field I'm requesting in the result, it's not working. Having is only looking at the result. So if my result is now, like here, containing the student ID, I can use the having because it is finding the student ID inside the result and giving me the correct things. The where does not need the student ID in the result. It directly looks into the database. So there is a little bit different. Yeah. So it's not always exchangeable. I said this having was introduced a little bit later. Okay. Was it before not possible to get this? Was it not possible? Well, let's have a look on a simple, rather simple statement like this. Select a sign class, count a signed group. We have done this. We, we are getting the values of the count of students per class. They are here. And this result table, inside this result table I want to search. And I again have to use What I want to do actually, what I, what I actually want to do is to use this result table as table like it would come out of the database. Yeah. So I'm producing with my result a new table and I'm searching inside this new table with a new select statement. Okay. This is not working. This is not working from the scratch. Yeah. I need to give this table a name. Yeah. So actually, what I want to do is I want to select everything yeah, from. And now this I give the inner table. Yeah, and this is exactly what I've written before. Select a sign class. Yeah, and the count. of a science student. So exactly what I've, what I've written above here. Yeah? Uh, from a science student, yeah? from class assignment, yeah? and of course, group by assign class. Yeah? This is now my inner statement. Derived will must have its own alias. It's written. Okay, this is not working because the derived table it needs a name. Okay, I must give this this table a name. There is no 
table inside a database without a name. So if I want to use a select statement on a table, on a result table, I must give this result table a name. Yeah. To give something a name, I'm using now exactly the same requests as before. Yeah. From, yeah. And to give this table a name, I'm using the S clause. Yeah. And I'm giving this table the name result. Okay. Uh -huh. Of course, there's a typo. Uh -huh. But you see, the, at least the, the, the uh, error message changed. So again, use select from, select count from. And now, hands don't forget and as result. Okay. Well, nothing much has changed, as you see. Yeah, it's still the same. But I'm now able to select everything from a table which was actually a result, and now is treated like a, a database table. Okay. Oh, it's easy. I just have to add the WHERE clause, right? WHERE yeah. COUNT ASSIGN STUDENT It's less than 15. Invalid use of group function. Hey, 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 hey. It's again not working, again it's not working. This is because I also have to give these results a name. Yeah? So, what I have to do finally, hopefully, yeah? select star from select assign class and count. Yeah? And here, this one I have to give a name. Yeah? Tune count. I call this tune count. Okay. From give him a name as result, and then I use the where clause. Where student count smaller than fifty. Okay, country, count smaller than 15. <laughs> ha, finally. Yeah. You see, it worked. It's a little bit more complicated, right? Yeah. But at least we now know what to do if we want to use a result table as a database table. We have to give the things names, and then this is really working. So, I guess when you see this, introducing the having clause, the having uh, is was a good idea. It's easier with the having, but at least you know now this technique. Yeah. I think for this video it's enough again. Uh, we have seen there are quite a lot of students now inside. Yeah? And maybe I'm only interested in the oldest one or the youngest one or whatever. Yeah? Then I'm not interested in all the students I have. Yeah? Next time we're talking about the limit clause, yeah? which can be used to, to, to limit the outputs. You see, it's, it, this is rather easy. Compared to this one, this is easy. Yeah. Don't worry. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.